It's day two here at Rambling Man Fair. I'm Kylie Olsen from You Discover Music, and look who is in the bar. Hey, hey, it's Lizzie and RJ from this is House nice Domain. Uh, this is a great bar you got here. Well, you were saying you feel quite at home. Yeah, absolutely. My my brother and I, we both grew up on a 20 acre farm, and we ba we bailed hay when we were kids with our dad. So. <laughs> Yeah, we were very strong when we were. We're getting <laughs> memories. Or, yeah, I know. We're flashbacks. Flashbacks. Yeah, this is this is our this first time to Ramblin' Man. Oh my god! So man. we're super stoked. And so. had you heard about it before? Or? Oh yes, absolutely. This has been like just a, a oh, dream yeah. of ours. As yeah, soon as this absolutely. all things started, it's like I wonder if we'll get to play. I wonder if they'll ask us to come. Yeah. So yeah, it's been really yeah. fantastic. Well, it's good to have you here. Tyler Bryan and oh, yeah. um, Black We Smoke and those guys. You seem to all know each other. Oh, yeah. There's lots of love going we're, on we're between all, you. We're all practically neighbors, too, because we all live in Nashville. So, mm. it's, so like we see each other all the time, and we've gotten to uh, to actually pair up and gig with each other around town. Just yeah. it, every now and then, a random Tuesday night, it's like, hey, do you want to get up and sing a couple songs? Sure. So, like, so we're all really good friends, and so it's really crazy to see, to kind of hang out in, like, the complete, you know, other end of the, the world here. So. so it's not feeling like work today? Oh, then. no, no, no. We're at home. No. <laughs> it's never work. It's never work. Is it not? And, and even even when it's tough, when it is work, it's yeah. always good work. It's still it's good. the best yeah. kind of work. You could yeah. always be doing something else you hate. That's you know? true. What would you be doing? What would you be doing if you weren't in a band? Oh, man. I don't even know. That's so what we've ever done, though, isn't it? We don't know music. how to sit still, so we'd be doing something. Yeah, we would just, yeah, yeah, exactly. My brother and I, we were just talking about how we've been in this band longer than we haven't been in this band <laughs> at this point in our career so yeah I, I I think I gave up I gave up a long time ago <laughs> I, I gave up a long time ago um, trying to figure out what else I would do just like I think this is all it is yeah, yeah. So are you going to be performing some new tracks? Yeah, from the yeah, album? We're, yeah. We're throwing in a couple new songs as long and as well as the classics. Yes, of course. You'd be in trouble <laughs> they, if you didn't. Yes, absolutely. We, you know, we don't upset the uh, the and rambling so how, guys. How have they been going down on the tour? Uh, so far, it's been pretty good feedback. Yeah. So yeah. It's been like overwhelmingly positive, which is always kind of nerve wracking because, uh, you know, you never expect the worst, but you prepare for it. So the fact that everyone's like really grabbing onto these new tracks. They and, really and hate and the drumming, but uh, everything <laughs> else is great. <laughs> no, it's not your drumming, it's just your face. It's, Look at how ugly you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> can't help it. Disgusting face. In I fact, know. I don't know, we should maybe just turn this into a radio interview, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> your, your looks have become a problem. Oh, God. <laughs> what am I on a Howard Stern here? <laughs> so, um, the album, when can we hear it, anyway? Um, it drops on July 27th, okay. so very soon. That's cool. And I, I, I've heard that you said that this is like the most house storm sounding album. Why? Yeah, I think a lot of it had to do with the producer that we worked with, yeah. is Nick Resculinix, who not only are we a big fan of his work, but he also is a massive fan of, of us and our live show. And so when we're in the studio, we're in a different environment. You're, we're naturally a little bit more tame than we are on stage. So he was a great uh, uh, coach to kind of just crack the whip and be like, no, like, Play that like you play yeah. live, like bring yeah. the energy. He, he had a lot of tricks up his sleeve to like get us in that kind of excited Wave state. Wave the drumstick around. Yeah, excited <laughs> state that, ooh, ooh, no. Um, but he would be like, every single day, he would be as close as you are to mm. us. And uh, whether it was us playing guitar or him drumming, he would be in the drum room with him just like, being that kind of fifth member, almost that just like cheerleader. Very, very you know? hands-on. And, yeah. and he's the first producer that, that we've uh, really worked with that has seen us more than once. And it was a fan of Hailstorm oh, before okay. before we even started working together. So he would mention all these things like, oh, no, 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 you think that rocks, but I've seen you guys do, do it more live. So I know you can sing higher. I know you can be crazier. We just have to up everything times 10. So That's yeah. brilliant. That's really cool. Well, look, I can hear some of that in, in in the songs that you've put out already. So it's definitely uh, one, one thing definitely that, captured it for sure. One thing that he did with us too is that you, you know, in we are in a day and age where there is um, so much technology and Pro Tools, yeah. and so like, in, in all honesty, the, we could have done this the easy way mm -hmm. and just like, okay, sing the chorus once, and we'll just fly it over to each yeah. section or whatever. And he never did that with any of us. Um, for the most, for most of all of these performances. Every everything was done as a performance. I was singing I was everything. Live, he was yeah. doing one take, yeah, front, he, to, back, front so. to back, so that you could get because he um. So we did like 15 it, it was takes, kind of this, but it, it, it yeah, made it, it, worth it was it. like this old editing. this old dumb moment because he said, "Well, look, when you're live, you're going to be singing and playing, you know, the uh, the second chorus different than you're yeah. on the first because you're already in the song, and then when you get to the end." It's, it's going to be even crazier because you're going to want to bring it home. So yeah. he really had that in mind as we were going along. So, yeah, it was very cool.
Did you find that tough, or did you like? Did you like it was, recording? Oh, yeah. it was very. Yeah. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was very challenging because yeah. in, in, with the every record that we've done, um, a lot of times I would do like two or three takes, and then we would edit it, comp it, and sample stack it, and you know, it was, it was done very kind of run of the mill, just kind of you know, the let's, let's get yeah. in, get it done, get out, and. It made sense as a young band because we didn't have much experience in the studio, but now we just, you know, we've been doing it for so long that we felt very much at home yeah. this time. That's when you really give each other the stink eye, isn't it? If they mess up. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you're like, you're serious. We, we, we do that, that again. We do that every night because we're, we're still one of those bands that we don't play with tracks or trickery, no click, no nothing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but we can hear everything with <laughs> our monitors. We're our own worst critics. So, so, yeah. so, so we, we make fun of each other all the time. It's like, what was going on back there? Did you miss that hit? Whatever. It's, yeah. So it's, it's fun, you know? So how do you feel like the, the album that you had before this one, I, it was it was a tiny bit more poppier than your yeah. previous stuff, and some people criticised you for that. And for me, I was like, well, that's not really fair because you're a band and you're going to want to evolve, evolve oh, yeah. and you're going to want to experiment and stuff. So how does that make you it's, feel that you kind of have to be in this box the whole time? We we've never been preoccupied with what other people think. Um, I I think that just becomes like we we literally like grew up on the stage, and so every single night you're being judged. Yeah. So we don't preoccupy. It's it's always about we. Any obstacles that we have in front of us, we put there on our own shoulders, and and so it's more about what what do we think about the record, and um, I mean in in the most simplest of terms, I guess um, the reason that they're called albums is because they're snapshots. They're a bunch of a collection of, yeah. of um, snapshots of where you were at in that point in time mm -hmm. in your life, and and some of that pop sensibility is very much a part of what we do. So on that record, that's something that we wanted to do, and and but if we hadn't done that one then that w we probably wouldn't have this one because this exactly. one kind of went absolute full, full yeah. on the other end. That's so, for yeah. sure, for sure, without a doubt. When I was a kid, I was obsessed like obsessed with Bobby Keys. Oh, yeah. And so that made me want to play the saxophone. So I, I, so no I, I used, yeah. yeah, so basically I used to... Will you play with us? Uh, yes, I'll come and play with you, for sex. sure. <laughs> Solo. Yeah, so I basically used to like in front of the mirror, you know, get like a, 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 awesome. a thing and just sort of do a bit of air sax. And my dad saw it and he was like, right, okay, we're going to get you a saxophone and do it. Was there anyone that made you, you know, that you used to sort of perform in front of the mirror to try and emulate? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, on at an at an early age, we were both listening to my dad's music. So um, a lot of the fir the first music that I was listening to was. Van Halen and Dio yeah. and Black Sabbath and Alice Cooper and our dad introduced us to Vanilla Fudge and all of that Zeppelin. stuff. Oh, the good stuff. Yeah. So, Jimmy and then my yeah. mom was like, well, you should listen to some girls. So she got me a live uh, record from Heart called The Road Home. I was going to say, you, yeah. you, I can hear some oh, Ann thanks. Wilson in you. And, and so that was for vocally for me. I was like, oh, wow, I didn't know girls could sing like that. Yeah, okay. Um, and then for guitar, it was a, it was a lot of, I, I went through a huge 80s metal phase when I was a teenager, much to my 90s friends chagrin um, <laughs> because at the time that like there was Spice Girls and Backstreet Boys and all that I was listening to Alice Cooper and I was listening to Cinderella and all that so Tom Kiefer was the reason I picked up guitar okay and then uh, and yeah I, I don't know uh, with with little bro we would sit and study the Beatles actually like we, we our parents would get us these like some of the like the early live footage and um, those old movies that they made help and hard day's night and all that so yeah, we yeah. would sit and watch that over and over again and then we would try to imitate that in our okay. parents' living room, yeah. And it's, the, it's actually the 50th anniversary of the White Album this year. Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, oh, God, are you a fan of that album? <laughs> Did you like oh, that yes, album? Absolutely. Of course. Yeah. Why, why do you think it sort of stood the test of time? Um, oh, gosh. I mean, I, I know when it came out, it was like kind of a shocker to everybody because they've always had like crazy artwork on their albums, and yeah. this one was just blank. Yeah. I mean, as a kid, that's all I remember is like, oh, the White Album, I'm like, oh, that's that's outrageous, you know? <laughs> There's nothing on it. It's almost more it. outrageous to do <laughs> nothing, you know? Yeah, yeah no, I, but I don't know. Yeah. I think, like, as far as the Beatles went, I think um, part of the magic, and this is how pioneers are made, is that music, you don't necessarily choose the music, it chooses you. And for some reason, those four guys getting together and the magic that happened, I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily been duplicated before or since then. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's one of those things that's timeless and one of those records that you can listen to still today and learn something from. It wasn't yeah. a flash in the pan. It wasn't, they weren't following a trend. They were just in it. So. Yeah.
Mm. That's the a Beatles, reason that man. they are the Beatles. You know? Exactly, yeah. it is indeed. Um, now, before I let you go, uh, something that I'm doing with everyone here uh -oh. is pocket raiders. So, Ooh. could you reveal what's in your pockets, please? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? No, no, no. you're regretting. Actually, I don't have much. I just have a uh, sharpie. Never leave the house without okay, it. Okay, that's right. good. I'm a girl. I have a lot more. Hold on. Yeah. I have. I have like hardly I got, anything. I don't even have my you, Have you got lipstick in there? Um, got you got Sharpie as well. That's Sharpie. good. I got my tablet for writing lyrics. Oh yeah. You want to? <laughs> Hold on. I got. And Bluetooth. Here we go. Bluetooth earbuds. I, I have a spare toothbrush. That's it for me. <laughs> Prepared. I like oh, it. Oh yeah. This is my like. Th this is like my bug out bag. I can like put this jacket on. I have a drink. I am admiring this jacket actually. That's really cool. Oh, and it has inside pockets so that I can have my wallet. Is in there, yeah. Who needs all, a bag when you've things. got a jacket like that? <laughs> uh, is there anything I can keep to give to some fans because we're collecting everything? Oh, absolutely. Hold on. Sharpie? Sharpie. Perfect. That's great. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Let's do one of these. Oh, oh there go. good. And we have a Sharpie. So there, we're both there helping. There we go. <laughs> Always prepared. I'm, I'm digital. I, I can't do the lyrics on paper because I constantly change them. It's just so much easier really, on the notes. Oh, see, that, that's on part the of the iPhone. fun, though. Because no, I think that's no. like you do like, that way. You do, like, first draft, and then it's the second draft. Oh, OK, so the are these what we so got? These are, they, they, reveal, are you going to reveal some new lyrics? They, they, Thank you. They will, be, they, they will be new songs eventually. But that's, that's what I like about having the pen and paper, though, because it's like you start you, out with one idea and then it keeps evolving. Yeah. And then you can see the progress. So yeah. And then you can go but back you, I, if I've you change your mind. I've always got my phone. That's the thing. And it's just like so convenient. You yeah. Know? It's just far so too easy. convenient. Well, listen, thank you so much for chatting to us. It's Hellstorm. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Hey. <laughs>